The energy system sits at the heart of modern day society, adapting to changing political, technological and environmental priorities. And the past year has been no different. I've been leading production of this energy outlook. And so I'm going to talk you through what happens to the crucial sort of moving parts of the energy system in our scenarios. This chart shows the paths for oil demand in our two scenarios. But the common trend that I want to pull out here is that both scenarios imply that oil carries on playing a central role in the energy system for at least the next 10 to 15 years. And that matters a lot for the investment that we're going to need. Now, the next feature of the energy system that you can see in both scenarios is that the world continues to electrify. Over the past 10 years, our demand for electricity has grown twice as fast as our demand for energy overall. And that trend just continues over the outlook, with the world's demand for power more than doubling by 2050. Most of this higher power demand is for growing demand where we already use a lot of our electricity. That's in industry and in our buildings. But of course, that's being supplemented by newer uses of electricity including, of course, those electric vehicles, but also high data center demand to enable rising use of artificial intelligence. This switch from energy addition to energy substitution has already happened in many individual countries, both for the power sector and for energy as a whole. But to do so at a global level would be historically unprecedented. That's the challenge.